This is the XH M240 lithium ion battery capacity tester which can be used to measure the capacity of these 18650 lithium ion cells which I will be using in an upcoming project. Today I will show you how to use this tester to check the capacity of these lithium ion battery cells. So let's get started. The tester consists of two slots for 18650 cells, a power switch, connector for external power supply, a display and four control buttons. There is also a 10 watt 8 ohm resistor. What the tester does is, it connects the battery to the resistor which acts as a load which discharges the battery to a certain voltage value which is the cutoff voltage. While it measures the voltage and current over time and adds these values to give us the total current and energy capacity of the battery. I have bought these 18650 cells of capacity 2200 and 2400 mAh and will now test the cells to find out whether they are truly of the set capacity or not. I have fully charged these cells using this TP4056 module. First, insert a cell into the slot on the left and turn on the switch. Now insert the cell you want to test to the slot on right. You can see 4 buttons at the bottom and a blinking LED. The first button is to turn the discharging on or off. The second one is to change the parameter being displayed. And the third and fourth buttons are to increase or decrease the cutoff voltage value. I am setting the cutoff voltage value to 2.7 volts. You can see on the display 2.7V. Now press the first button to start the test. By pressing the second button, you can toggle between the current, energy and voltage values. The display will begin to show the current consumed in milliamp hours. To stop or pause the testing, you can press the first button. You can also long press it to refresh the values. The resistor consumes about 500 milliamps or half ampere so it will take about 4 to 5 hours for the test to complete. Avoid touching the resistor as it gets hot during operation. After waiting for almost 6 hours the test was complete. The result showed that the battery had discharged about 2500 milliamps which is even more than the mentioned capacity. That means the battery capacity is genuine and can be used in a project. I did the same with the other cell of 2200 mAh. And the capacity came out about 2400 mAh which is also a good value. I also cross checked the voltage and current values using my multimeter and the readings were very close. Just for the sake of testing, I also ordered one of these obviously fake cheap Chinese cell in order to test its capacity. The cell mentions a capacity of 3000 mAh and costed about less than a dollar. I charged it and after testing it I was not too surprised as the actual capacity came out to be 980 mAh. I have mentioned the links to buy this device in the description below. Overall I am happy with it as now I can know the true capacity of these cells. That was it for today guys and thanks for watching.